Hi everyone, my name is Lauren. I'm an ICU nurse and I enjoy helping people memorize physiology and pharmacology and I enjoy giving people memory tricks so they can remember that information in practice or on an exam. So I'm doing a series on antibiotics, actions, classes, and side effects. So this video will be on cephalosporins. So cephalosporins are a drug class that work on the cell wall. They interfere with cell wall synthesis of bacteria. So you can remember that because cell cephalosporin So CE for cephalosporin, their action is cell wall synthesis interference. And there's several side effects of cephalosporins. So cephalosporins have a cross sensitivity with penicillin. My trick for that is you have cephalosporins here. And you cross it with penicillin and it works out here, right? So Here's your cross between penicillin and cephalosporin, so there's like a 25% cross sensitivity. Which means if someone already has an allergic to pen, allergy to penicillin, um, they might have an allergy to cephalosporins as well, so you should be sensitive with that. Um, two other side effects of cephalosporins, one is GI stuff, so nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. And I will say that with all antibiotics, if in doubt, they probably have a GI side effect of nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. And that's because all antibiotics will decrease gut bacteria. Um, and so if we decrease good gut bacteria, um, other bacteria will overgrow and you'll get diarrhea. Um, if you're taking these orally, um, PO, you're probably going to have GI upset and it will be better to take it with food. So if in doubt, all antibiotics probably cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and they all probably cause rash as well. Um, you can remember cephalosporins and rash because penicillin allergy, um, most people who say they're allergic to penicillin nowadays say, oh, when I was a kid, my mom told me that I got a rash from penicillin. Um, so if you remember that, you can think cross sensitivity with cephalosporins. You also get a rash with cephalosporins. Um, the way to remember the drugs that are in the cephalosporin class is they all start with CE for cephalosporin. CE, ceph, really, ceph. So cephalexin, cephazolin, cepharoxime, cephatoxamine, cephapime. And there's more examples that I didn't list here, and they all start with ceph. So there you go, they're cephalosporins. They all start with ceph for cephalosporin, CE for cell wall interference. There is a cross between penicillin and cephalosporins, and there's a cross word that you can do between penicillin and cephalosporins here. And just like all the other antibiotics, they probably cause GI upset and a rash. So thanks for watching. Comment below if you found this helpful, if you have any questions um, or comments. And thank you to allnurses.com for helping me share my content.